So, so Winston covered my introduction. <laughs> so, so uh, I'll jump into... Oh, it's not showing. Hmm. Uh, command. Command. I'm command F1. Command. Ah, okay. Yeah, so basically I'm, I'm trying to start this segment where I just curate open source issues that I see mainly on Rails and some other places. Then I will share them during Ruby Meetup so maybe people can work on them. Uh, work on them. So my main driving force is actually uh, Rails has a lot of issues, and, but there's not enough people working on them. So what part of my motivation is I'm trying to get more, inspire more people to work on them. Uh, yeah, so recently on Rails, so now Rails is in, on developing for Rails 5. Uh, your action controller parameters are not, it's not a hash within different access anymore. They change it to something, I can't remember what. But basically, uh, so this is an open issue. Like if you do a comparison between the parameters and a hash, it doesn't work. So uh, I think it's pretty simple. You can just, uh, good for beginners, you just impl it's basically implementing a method and just um, writing a test for it. Uh, so I'll post these slides up later so you can get the link to the issue. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this, uh, if you use current page and if your URL has a trailing slash on it, your current page will actually not match, um, will actually return false. Uh. So the method is broken. I actually submitted a PR, but then uh, there are some issues with how to test it. So if anyone wants to take a step at it, uh, feel free to do so. <laughs> I basically ran out of ideas. So basically somewhere in your middleware is actually uh, removing the trailing slash from your URL. So I have no idea how to test that. But I can fix the thing, but I don't know how to test it. Something like that. Yeah, so uh, DHH2 has a list on the issues page. So there's a ton of them. And I think you should look at them if you want to get in touch with DHH. Uh, you get to talk to him over on GitHub. <laughs> That makes you happy. Yeah, uh, so, so this part is sort of like a self-plug for me. Uh, elections are coming, so <laughs> please raise your hand. <laughs> no, um, so basically, um, yeah, I, I've, been, I've been working on RubyBench for quite a while, and I really don't have time to work on some issues that I really want to work on. Uh, so to inspire more people to work on RubyBench, so basically um, in Rails 4.2, actually in 4.1 onwards, your scopes are actually three times slower. Three times slower in 4.2, about 1.5 times slower in... 4.1, uh, so yes, it's slow. Uh, so in order to identify, I was able to identify these regressions because RubyBench helped me to do so. So I, I'm trying to inspire more people to help me with RubyBench. Uh, then so we reported this, and then um, one of the core team members in Rails worked on it, and then your scopes are 15% faster, but they are still somewhat, a lot slower than what it was in 4.0. Uh, yep, so uh, just more inspirational pictures. Uh, there was a regression with, your, uh, with some query that you do. So there was, uh, you can see the dip, and then there was an increase. So when I saw the dip, I went to look at the commit that caused the dip. Uh, end up, it was my own commit. So and then I had to revert my own commit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, I caused the regression, and then I fixed the regression. <laughs> yep. uh, so, yeah, so this was the thing I was talking about. Your, this is your scope across the Rails version from 4.0 to 4. One in Rails three point something is actually a lot faster as well. So, uh, yeah. So that that's the end of my presentation. It's pretty short. So let me know if this is useful. Like, if you guys would like to know like some open source issues that uh, someone can curate for you. Uh, an interesting thing is that if you go to the Rails issues right now, I would say about ninety percent are all active record based. So if you like to dive into the active record, just go into the issues page. About ninety percent. Uh, <laughs> So, so that'll be interesting, yeah. So that's, that's all for my presentation. Oh, uh, if you'd like to work on RubyBench or s find out ways you can help, uh, just feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I'll be more than happy to get, uh, get more help with it. Okay, yeah, that's all. Any questions for open source? Ah, yeah. Yes. We, uh, we have a legacy that we are running to the on the Mongol cluster. Uh-huh. So then it's like Rails 2? Yeah. 1.8. Wow. Ruby 1.7, right? Ruby 1.8. Yeah. Yeah. 2. Yeah. 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 Okay. Not 2.8. Okay. okay. And so, would you recommend to keep it on Ruby itself or do you use JRuby or I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, what do you recommend? Uh huh. Legacy. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I is it a business decision? Yeah. 
I think the question is they have a legacy app like that's running on Ruby 1.8.7 yeah. with Rails, Rails 1.9 something. So is it better to stay on Ruby or yeah. to stay ah. on Ruby? Yeah. I think we have to look at the application in context and sort of, you know. Uh, I, can, I can quickly answer that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> firstly, firstly you, have to, you have to see uh, whether you have your, your current gens, mm -hmm. what your dependency are. Because, uh, like, uh, I, I have a product uh, with developed in Australia, the dependency was on uh, communication with Flex. And uh, we had a same, I had the same problem of whether to go up from uh, 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 go up a version or not, and and uh, it's now at still at one point nine. I couldn't go up to two point zero because it doesn't work on it doesn't work, it doesn't work, work uh, on the next version. So uh, the way to go is to is to go. Uh, I would say forget about the room. That's my thing. <laughs> uh, uh, test each of the version of your Ruby Jack along the way. You see whether you have an update. Let me add another point there. We try to go into Merv. Merv on Yahoo the text. Merv, there was a framework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's probably but now it's dead. Yeah. 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 I mean, Ruby 1.9 is not supported anymore. Yeah. Yeah. There is another flavor which is on Merv as well. So, anybody recommends? No, I think I think the fact that your app is in that in that stage um, is difficult to upgrade, especially if you don't have tests. Um, yes, we do have tests. Maybe we do. There is another interesting point which you would like, I guess. Right. Because our models lies in C++, so we use native gem to what's us the C++ native gem. Native gem, oh. gem, which consumes the models. So there is a middle way of the price framework behind. So migration is not that easy, so but yes. now I just let it die. <laughs> Seven is not supported. So some of these versions are not supported already. So that the fact that it's still on it is dangerous, right? Even for Rails, one point nine point something is not recommended. So then, in order to move away from all these, then you have to make sure that you probably need to do a lot of rewrite internally to make sure that you stop using some of the later, uh, the, the the old legacy way of using Active Record or Rails or, or whatever. So it's painful. So to give some context, even GitHub, they were started on Rails 2. Point something. Uh, they cannot move to trade, even Rails 3, right? Even though they are like tech company, so big, so many people, they cannot move to Rails 3 immediately. They have to, you know, maintain their own version of Rails 2 before they slowly, slowly, you know, do the upgrade, etc. So it's going to be a painful, painful, painful route. <laughs> 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 I don't think no. that's even a question. Yeah, it's not even a consideration. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, not, it's not about that yeah. at all. I don't think it will help you. So Python has a very gigantic binary. Uh, Fifteen years ago, that's been growing until now. If it earns your money, <laughs> okay, so, so maybe I saw for PayPal that the, actually is the kick the call, everything else right? Yeah, and then you slowly go. Okay, maybe uh, actually I think uh, in the audience there are a lot of consultancies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
doing self promotion, but I think to help you. Okay. Okay. Sorry.